Hi everyone, this is day two, my routine for nighttime. This morning I did refresh my wash and go style that was done the previous day, just to refresh it and get it lively again by just using a water oil spritzer. So now it's time to moisturize my hair for bedtime. This time I will be moisturizing my hair in a different way. This time I will be using a creamy moisturizer instead of a water oil spritzer moisturizer. Um, I make my own moisturizer. Um, you guys know that I love my Trader Joe's Nourish Bod Conditioner. So I actually use it as a moisturizer. Um, the only thing I do differently, I put in three oils and mix in three oils. I mix in extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, and avocado oil. Give it a nice shake um, and it makes a great moisturizer. Um, it's not as, I think when I put it in my hair, it kind of absorbs differently because of the oils than it does when I use it as a conditioner. So it absorbs like a moisturizer. So I love the moisturizing with this. Um, so the reason why I'm moisturizing with a creamy moisturizer tonight as opposed to just a water oil spritz is because tomorrow morning I will be wetting down my hair again um, to do another wet and go. Um, and I like to moisturize it before wetting it down completely so that I still have moisture in there and um, you know, I, I just don't want to take any chances of any dryness. Plus, it gives me some added weight that I like to help my curls elongate. So, before I apply the moisturizer, I just take a bottle of warm water, that's all that's in here, and just kind of um, get the curls, get my hair kind of flexible a little bit, because you really shouldn't manipulate your hair while it is dry, because that can cause breakage. And the reason why I'm using warm water is because it... You know, it kind of opens up the hair cuticle a little bit so that the hair can absorb moisture. Just dampen it. Don't You don't have to get it dripping, dripping wet. But see, it just kind of makes the hair flexible so that it's easier to um, manipulate and you won't be causing breakage by messing in your hair while it is dry. All right, just kind of smooth the water through. Like that. Okay. And then I take my moisturizer. I always give it a nice shake because of the oil that's in there. I want to make sure that it's an even consistency. And just start to get that in there. I'll start with about this much. Oop. And get it in there. Sure you get to miss roots too even though the most important are your ends so i always kind of take chunks and just kind of twist it in just to make sure that every strand is getting coated i do that all around my head so you guys moisture is the key especially if you have tightly tightly curly kinky coily hair our hair needs moisture. There shouldn't be a day that goes by when you're not putting moisture in your hair, whether it's water, whether it's um, a cream base moisturizer, whether it's a conditioner. Our hair needs moisture. And my hair is feeling really, really, really soft right now. Okay, at this point, I don't detangle. I only detangle once a week, and that is on wash day. So after the moisture is put in, I take some olive oil, some extra virgin olive oil. Just about a handful. And I smooth that in throughout my hair just to seal the moisture in. Again, I just take sections and do big chunky twists just to make sure that each strand gets some of this olive oil in it. There. All right. Now at this point, I 
just so I won't have a mangled mess when I wake up um, and so that my hair will kind of lay down better when I'm ready to do my wet and go the next day. I just go ahead around my head and I don't comb my hair. I don't detangle. I only detangle my hair um, once a week and that is on wash day. So I just kind of finger part, smooth, every, smooth the product in like so. And I just go ahead and put four braids in my hair. And just be careful of any tangles or snarls or knots. You don't want to pull them out because that's causing your hair to break. So just be careful and be mindful about that. Alright, and then for when you get to the end of the braid, just so it doesn't cause knots or anything, I just take it and twist the ends like so. So it doesn't get tangled or knotty when I'm ready to take them out. And then what I do, I just tuck. Tuck it in like that. That basically helps my ends stay the most moisturized because that's the driest part of my hair. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the three braids. Okay, my hair is all twisted up in one, two, three, four braids, and then I just tuck them into a little bun. Now, don't feel compelled that you have to go out and, you know, get Trader Joe's conditioner and get the oils and make your own moisturizer. You know, whatever moisturizer you're using probably will be fine as long as it's not a moisturizer that contains, you know, cones or um, petrolatum, petroleum, or mineral oil because those products, you know, tend to make, for me, makes my hair dry and blocks out the moisture. And I can only tell you experiences through my own hair. All right, guys, so at this point, I'm, again, I'm using the bagging method because I will be wearing a wet style tomorrow. So I put the baggie on. And put my satin cap over top of that. And I'll see you in the morning. Bye.